In this quick video, I'd like to show you how you can change the color of your MacBook. Of course, not the external color of your chassis and stuff like that, but the color of your folders and the highlight color. So let's begin with it. So the highlight color is whenever you are browsing a website or doing anything else, if you highlight a thing, the background is of a certain color. And the main accent color is the color of anything selected. So if you go to a folder and you click on something, it's going to be of that color. And these are the two colors that you can customize and modify. So if you go to the system preferences and go to the general and main section, you're going to be presented with a couple of options. And the first one is already the, the thing that I'm talking about. So at first, at the top, you of course have the appearance, the light, dark, and automatic mode. But below it, you have the accent color. And the thing is that this can be set to any color that you want. Like you have some uh, prepared colors, which are like really bold or saturated because they are supposed to be that way. So clicking on a different color, it's going to change it right away. So you can see the selections and the check marks. Everything's going to become that color. But the thing with accent color is that you can only set it to these specific colors that you have here available. You can't really choose and mix your own ones, which is kind of shame, but this is just how it works. And they probably want to make sure that you don't choose some weird colors and you wouldn't know what's selected or not. And yeah, they just probably want to make sure that you use some really bright and saturated colors. For the highlight color, however, you can choose pretty much anything that you'd want. Like you also have some uh, pastel colors, some, it's not really that bright or saturated, of course, because uh, it doesn't, it's like it shouldn't be so distracting. Uh, and yeah, you of course have a couple of options to pick from, but at the bottom you have the other thing. And if you click on the other, uh, the color wheel is going to pop up. And you can choose whatever color you want. You can play around with them. You have all of the regular color wheels and color panels available by Apple. So definitely a lot more options than just the accent color. This is nice and all, but um, at the top you of course have the light and dark mode settings. And one thing that I would really like is to be able to change the colors depending on the light or the dark mode. Depending on the environment, of course, because some colors look better with the white background and some look better with the darker one. So I would like to change it that way according to the system. But as of right now, this doesn't really work and you cannot really do it that way. Even though it's a shame, like I say, but um, yeah, you cannot really do anything with it. Anyways, guys, I do not think that I should add or I could add anything else to that video. These are the basic settings for the colors of your folder. And I don't want to stretch out the video any longer. So thanks a lot for watching. Leave a comment saying whatever you want. I will most likely reply to you. You can subscribe for quick tips and quick videos like these in the future. And yeah, leave a thumbs up because it does help the channel. Thanks a lot for watching and see you guys later.